Oh, and look what time it is once again. That's right. It's time for betting the turnbuckle, your very favorite pro wrestling betting show. We're the only ones doing it. Now, we are presented by our brand new partners, mybookie.ag. Great to have them aboard and always great to be with my numbers guy, Raphael Esparza. Hello, Raphael. Hello, Coach. Big betting weekend. Oh, I'm pumped. College football is here. We've got other sports as well. The NFL is one week away. We're all about MMA here at BTT. But this is about Bash in Berlin. And I know you came out with a lot of odds. So we have three matches that we want to talk about on this particular show. And we're starting with a strap match. Now, I've been in a similar type match with good old JR. It was a few years ago. And let me tell you this, Raphael. There is not a universe that exists that in a real fight, JR would ever hit me with a belt. But he did, and I would never allow it again. Now, is CM Punk or Drew McIntyre going to allow that strap to be a part of the match at minus 400 for CM Punk, plus 300 for Drew McIntyre? Explain this, sir. Yeah, this one's interesting, but... What hurts more, Coach, a chair or a strap match? That's what I want to know. But a strap match, me and my twin brother had these all the time with my mom being the strapper, so she would whip us all the time, so it would hurt. I love CM Punk, minus $4. Almost wanted to put it at $6 just because I think he wins this one. $4, good value in this one. It should be a very entertaining match. I think this one spells match of the night easily. I'm pumped for this one. Does he get his bracelet back? Maybe that could be a prep bet uh, by Saturday. I, I, this whole bracelet thing, and I know it means a lot. I know that there's family and kids and dogs and girlfriends and all that kind of stuff. I just, in the pro wrestling world, I like to have my testosterone. I like to have two big guys going at it, and we're talking about bracelets. But that's what they brought into the situation. So I want to throw this out at you, Raphael, because Drew McIntyre obviously is a a foreign wrestler. He's from a foreign land. He also has a big movie coming out with Dave Batista as well. I always try to look at things on how it would help the wrestler, the talent, but also the company. You don't think that a win for Drew McIntyre with everything else that's going on and the event being in Berlin, that doesn't favor Drew McIntyre? He doesn't have a good record overseas in these matches. We've seen him before losing in his home soil. That's the only reason why I see him dropping this one. If this was a maybe in the States matches, then the number would probably be much lower. I would have CM Punk maybe $2. But trends tell me that he does not go well overseas on matches. I've been saying for several weeks on BTT that they, because of the injury, and whenever you have a bicep or a tricep injury, it can really affect what you're able to do. So when you throw in something like a strap or a last man standing or false count anywhere, then you can really get creative. And it's not just about the moves and the holds. I like the fact that it's a strap match. How much did that play into your odds making? That had a big deal. And CM Punk probably one of the biggest bet wrestler in both companies that he's worked in. So that was a, that had a lot to do with everyone's going to put CM Punk action, $10, $20, just because of his name alone. He's got the bigger name than Drew McIntyre. But the strap match had a lot to do with it. But then, of course, handle always trumps everything. If the handle keeps on coming in, we can't make this number high enough. A reminder for our premium members, part of the BTT crew, we will be live at 1 p.m. Eastern on Saturday, 10 a.m. Pacific time for our live watch-alongs. Me and Big Tommy C, from start to finish, we will not be here for that two-hour pre-show countdown to Berlin. I just can't. I can't do six hours. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do six hours. I remember when, back when I was there, Raphael. They would. The pay-per-views were only three hours. But wow. now you got to go four or five to get their money's worth. It's bananas. Is it too long for you? This one is because it's battling a lot of good stuff that's on TV this week, and you're battling the almighty NFL. You got every foreign soccer league going on at the same time. There's really good matches in the EPL going around close to that time frame. So little shocked on the length, little shocked on the day. Why didn't they move this to Saturday when you only have one college football game to battle? Yeah. And or Sunday. Uh, interesting. Yeah. It, and when I was there, we always did the pay-per-views on Sundays. We never did anything 
on Saturdays, but that certainly has changed. Match number two here on Betting the Turnbuckle, presented by MyBookie.ag. Uh, this is a match that I'm really looking forward to, actually. I think they've had a lot of heat both ways. I think the new look Judgment Day is very entertaining. If they can just keep the microphone out of Liv Morgan's <laughs> mouth when she is screaming and screeching, that would be just fine with me. But as a character, she's been awesome. So she's going to tag with Dirty Dom and the mustache and take on Damian Priest, the former champion, and Rhea Ripley. Now, Ripley and Priest, they are minus $3, minus $300. Uh, Liv and Dominic come back at plus 200 Your thoughts? If the number's probably going to come down. I'm probably need to put this down lower. All the action came in right away on that plus $2. Dominic and Liv getting great action. I think the first 10 bets were all on them $2. Wouldn't that shock me if it goes down to minus $2, plus 150, plus 160? I think great value on the underdogs with Mysterio and Liv. I'm excited to watch this. There's storylines all over. I agree. The new, uh, the new tantum of the what do you call them? The mega twins, the evil twins, whatever you want to call them. I love this new angle with both of them. I think they're gonna have Damian Priest win this one, but you can't pass up this plus money. I, I wouldn't shock me if Liv Morgan and win. Have you been surprised at how much? Not TV time because. The start of Monday Night Raw, then you had almost four segments. Almost the entire hour was this group of people. The fact that they have kept Priest and Rhea Ripley together and the fact that it looks like it's going to be more of that. Did that play into the odds making? Yes, they're so popular right now. And we knew we were going to get great two-way action because of the popularity of the Twins and with Liv Morgan and uh, Dominic, with the biggest heel in wrestling right now And Dominic. I love when they boo him. I love when the dad said, shave your mustache. Fantastic line. Uh, two-way action is going to be great on this one. But I think the heavy action is going to come with the dogs with Liv. And if you guys want to be a part of it, we've got a couple of different codes. We're just getting started, so let us ease into it. But you can use the promo code BTT. And, Raphael, if I have this correctly, 100% deposit bonus. If you use BTT, are they kidding me right now at mybookie.ag? You've been there forever. Yes. Just giving away free money, the 100% sign-up bonus. You can't pass that up with the 100% sign-up bonus. And I'm telling you right now, we're going to shake up the world. We're going to change how everything is done. And mybookie.ag, they are at the forefront of how we're going to change things. But get signed up first, and we'll do that for the next 30 or 60 days. And then we'll still try to incorporate other fun things just for you at home. But you got to get signed up first. Use that promo code BTT. Now, there is a third match that we want to talk about, and the odds are in such a way that you can't really bet it, but I know that you think it's important to talk about it, and that is the Cody Rhodes, Kevin Owens, one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, if you did a poll on social media, this would be probably a million to one that Cody Rhodes is not going to lose his belt. That's minus 5,000. No way to bet this. No way value. I want to talk about this because we could see a heel change. Kevin Owens going back to the bad guy himself, which I think he's a great uh, bad guy, especially on the mic. That's the only reason why I want to talk about this. Now, do I think there's value at 12 to 1? We're not shocked. We maybe a disqualification, something like that. But you can't pass up the 12 to 1 if there's any chance to bet this because I just don't see him losing the belt, Cody Rhodes. But I could see a heel change. It could be a lot of heel changes in this one. We could see a tag team split up in this Bash in Berlin as well. Uh, the storylines coming out of Bash Berlin are probably going to be more talkable than who won uh, and what were their odds. Yeah, I've been very, very critical of the WWE's use of Cody Rhodes. I feel like he's a guy that uh, the ultimate baby face. Uh, he's done everything the company has asked him to do. You watch that documentary, and it was very obvious they did not want him to beat. Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. And I believe because of that sentiment, Raphael, that that's kind of the reason now that Roman Reigns is back, and I'm sure we're going to have odds on the bloodline and how they decide to put all that together. But don't you feel like in a small, well, not a small, a big way that Cody Rhodes has kind of been pushed to the side a little bit? 
He's got to be the quietest WWE Universal Championship I've ever seen in history. He has a belt in some shows. You don't even know he has a belt. So Mm -hmm. I agree. They pretty much pushed him to the side. Granted, there's some really good storylines going around in the WWE, but for the championship to be sometimes nowhere to be found or even mentioned or even showing up with his belt on him, which is a nice suit, uh, I'm totally blown away in how they've treated the champ. They keep talking that they have so much uh, talent, uh, a, a long bench. But when we talk about from a betting perspective, there's only a few names that we can even handicap. And I also don't understand how Randy Orton can move back and forth between the two brands, but yet Cody Rhodes, who has no storyline on SmackDown, you can't bring him over to Monday Night Raw and figure out a way to write something that makes sense. But instead, Raphael, they say, ah, He's stuck on SmackDown. He's the champion on SmackDown. That also hinders a lot of the storylines and also a lot of the things that people at home would want to bet on. That and purchase. You figure his merchandise sales are probably low because you're not being talked about or brought about mm-hmm. uh, on these shows. So, yeah, I, I'm just puzzled with the, uh, Cody. I'd love to hear what Tommy. Tommy would probably go off dropping F-bombs in this subject, but I agree. I just don't understand how they're not letting the champ go back to show, show, show. Shoot, bring him on NXT as well. Why don't you have him on all three shows? So let me ask you this. Speaking of Monday Night Raw, as we move forward, we know that last week they had two Intercontinental Triple Threat matches. We're going to have two others that will lead to a fatal four-way. That I So if I would have bet last week on the Pete Dunne, Miz, and Xavier Woods match, I would have lost. Because I would have bet on Woods or Miz. I think those two matches could be pretty cool to have odds out on. What do you think? Yeah, I thought Xavier Woods was going to win this one. Just because the storyline they're using to split up the New Day, I thought they were going to have him win that match. I would have lost as well as an odds maker. <laughs> but so, a little confused, but Brown Breaker, they ain't going to strip the belt from him. If someone asked me would put odds on that, then he would be minus 10,000. If you guys haven't seen our heel coach first segment, it was on Braun Breaker and Pete Dunn. If you haven't seen Tommy's beef, oh my <sighs> God, what a star Fantastic. Big Tommy C is becoming. <laughs> Every week, he's going to have something that pisses him off. And he's going to have a beef about it. And he's going to talk about it. And we're going to be here and to enjoy it. And all of it is going to be presented by our new partners at mybookie.ag. Raphael, you're the man, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. That's going to do it for this episode of Betting the Turnbuckle. We do it every single time that there is a big PLE. This week is Bash in Berlin for you premium members out there. Join us for our live watch along at 1 p.m. Eastern on Saturday, 10 a.m. Pacific time. For Raphael, my number's got. For producer man, I'm the coach. Man, I love this. We'll see you next time on any one of our five shows right here at BTT. Take care.